Hey everybody, I'm Michael DiTullo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a teddy bear. So I wanted to do some videos that were a little bit slower, a little bit more um, basic, so that uh, if you're a kid or an adult and you just want to learn some drawing basics, uh, build up some skills, these are some videos for you. So let's get right into it. So this was a bear that I drew earlier just to, to practice and, and warm up, and I, I live streamed him on Instagram yesterday, but this is gonna be about what our bear will look like when we're done. Um, but to start, I always start with some really basic shapes. Uh, today I'm gonna be drawing with a Sharpie, but you could draw with whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. I like to draw with something really bold and solid uh, because I feel like it just gives a nice, strong result. Um, and it's okay, you know, you'll see when I do this drawing that I make a lot of lines that aren't the right lines and we start over and that's okay. So I'm gonna start this bear just by drawing two circles. So my first circle, a little bit smaller, and my second circle is a little bit bigger and just kind of touching the first circle and a little bit off center. So I'm gonna do it again so you can see how I do that. So notice how I do some kind of practice movements before I even make the line. I just do this so that I can kind of practice where I wanna make the shape. So again, this is my first circle, and here's my second circle. When we're all done, this first circle will be his head, and the second circle will be his belly and his body. Next, I'm gonna do a third circle that will eventually become his snout. So that, that third circle is touching the first circle and just kind of off to the side a little bit. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, every bear is a little bit different. Next, I'm gonna make some circles that are gonna act as his ears. Uh, but instead of drawing a full circle like I did here, I'm just gonna draw half of a circle or almost like two thirds of a circle. So the first one is gonna be off to the right of our bear's head like this. And the second one is gonna be off to the left of his head like that. So notice how I did that, right? So again, I practiced it a little bit before I did it, just to kind of see where it was gonna go and kind of imagining where the line will go. And then I do it again. All right. So I know it doesn't look like much yet, but now once we're gonna start adding, we're gonna start adding some arms um, and some legs and you'll really start to see the detail. So I'm gonna leave this bear over here with just the circles so you can see that. And then I'm just gonna add all the detail to this bear. All right, so I'm gonna start with the legs. So I'm gonna start with this leg over here. And this leg, I'm, I'm imagining this bear is kind of sitting down. So this leg, I'm just kind of having it come out at like a little bit of a jaunty angle. And then at the end of the leg, the leg is kind of a circle, right? But since it's tilted away from us, what we're gonna see is an oval. So again, doing that practice, and then that's my oval. And this leg is gonna be coming more straight at us. So we're only gonna really see the circle on the end of the leg, and it's gonna be a little bit larger than this leg uh, because of something called foreshortening. Foreshortening is when something is in perspective and it's coming straight at you, it looks bigger, the things that are closer to you look bigger, and the things that are further look smaller. So we have a nice big oval there. And see how much bigger that this oval is than this one? That's because again, this leg is foreshortened because it's coming straight at us. Next, let's add some arms. So the first arm I'm gonna have coming down over here, and my second arm I'm gonna have coming up like he's, he's waving to us. So I'm just gonna make a very simple, um, almost like a long U shape. See that's like a long upside down U. And at the end of that U, it's not gonna be a straight line because it's a, a full shape, right? It's a, it's a circle, but we're gonna see the outside of an oval, right? Like if we were to see all the way through that, that oval would be going like that. And then our second arm, I'm gonna have coming up here, like he's, he's waving hi to us. Are you starting to see how he's starting to look like a bear now? 
Now that I have the rough shapes of the bear all laid in, now I can start adding some detail, right? I only start adding detail once I'm totally happy with the shapes. So the first details I'm gonna add, just cause it's the thing that's kind of coming at us the most are his paw pads. So I'm gonna add four circles to the end of this foot. One big pad here, and then three smaller pads here. And then this one, you'll see again, because it's an oval, it's very in the distance. Again, the same um, four shapes, but much smaller, and they'll be ovals instead of circles. Okay, now I can just kind of fill those in. So we can start to see our paw pads. You see why I like to use the black magic marker now because it's, it's so nice and dark. And then on this hand, you won't see his paw, his paw pads because it's, it's not facing us, but in this one that's um, waving high to us, you can just kind of see that a little bit. So I'm gonna add those same shapes. And now I'm gonna start working on his face. So we have this circle, that's his muzzle. Um, and that circle is, is coming out in space like this, right? So I'm gonna put his nose, which is kind of a little bit of a soft triangle. I'm gonna put his nose way out here. And then start to do a little bit of a bear mouth. And a tongue sticking out. You can see now he's starting to really look like a bear. So even though I drew all these things in magic marker, it's still pretty light because I drew it lightly. Now that I know what my shapes are, I can come back in and, and more heavily draw some of these nice shapes. See that? And now I have his little muzzle. Now I'm gonna start adding some eyes. And then I always like to give my teddy bears eyebrows. I think it just gives them a little bit more personality. And let's draw the insides of his ears. So I'm gonna draw some more semicircles, a little bit offset. And on the inside of that, let's say there's a little bit of fuzz. Here's our teddy bear, he's fuzzy, right? And then I'm gonna shade that in too. Again, you're gonna start using some darker lines now that I know where my lines are. So everywhere, that I know is my good line. I'm gonna use a nice dark line, really solidify it. And again, I'm gonna add a little bit of fuzz to him. Come back here, maybe give him a little bit of fuzz in the cheeks. And I'm gonna connect these two circles together, right? So now his head and his body connect and that makes his neck. Same over here with this other arm. A Little bit of fuzz down the belly, like this. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker line here at the bottom, cause that's the, the shadow. So adding the darker line, much thicker darker line at the bottom, gives us a little bit of a sense that, uh, that he's sitting down. What do you guys think so far? Are you following along? Okay, the last thing I wanna to add to him is a little bit of a belly. So, you know, bears sometimes will have a, a lighter color around their belly, and we give them a little bit of a belly button. And we go. Now, to shade our bear, because he's fuzzy, I'm not gonna use hard shading lines, I'm gonna use dots. And using dots to shade is called stippling. Uh, and so what that's gonna do is it's gonna give a little bit of a, a soft appearance. Like he's made out of soft, fuzzy fur instead of being made out of a hard, something hard like plastic or metal. And I'm just gonna shade the edges of some of these shapes so that it feels like the light is hitting here and it's shading around like that. 
same with his cheeks here, so I, I will use stippling to, to shade the underside of his cheeks, maybe just a little bit over here. Come back in, maybe darken this up a little bit here under his belly. A little bit of fuzz there. And I think that's pretty much it. You can see we had a nice bear. So you can see how we went from these three simple circles and two semicircles and made that into a teddy bear. Maybe our, our teddy bear should be saying something. He's gonna say, hi there. And that is how I draw a teddy bear. I hope you had fun. I hope you, you drew along. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Um, and I'd love to hear your suggestions for topics. What, what would you like to see me draw? What would you like to draw together? All right, until next time, keep sketching.